everyone! Welcome to Grace Kids, where we believe in helping kids become like Jesus by loving God and serving others. We have a new series called Wait For It, and it also means that Christmas is coming! So to start it off, this week's big idea is that everyone needs a Savior. Enjoy! Hi friends! Did you have a good Thanksgiving? I did. It was so amazing. How was yours? It was so good. I ate lots of food and I was very thankful but I'm really excited because now it's Christmas! No, it's oh. not Christmas yet. Oh, okay. Not yet. Okay, uh, how many more days? Is it three? Um, well, no, more than three. More than three. As long as my chain. <gasps> oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, is that why you have that? I do. Every day that it gets closer to Christmas, I take one off. Ooh. So when my chain is gone, it's Christmas. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Well, we get to help the, the kids learn about Jesus and stuff. Yay! So we should probably tell them who we are. Okay. Hi. I'm Chrissy Christmas. <laughs> I'm Holly Holiday. And we love Christmas so, so much. Oh, um, so much. What, what's up with that? So I brought lights because you can never have too many Christmas lights. That's that true. So useful. And, and this month we're talking about how we can wait for it. You uh -huh. know? Yes. I'm way good at waiting. We're waiting for it. It being Christmas. Uh -huh. And and, and then also today we're talking about how we need a savior because Jesus, he's our savior. He is. And so I have come to save you. Oh, how are you going to do that? <laughs> because I'm going to trap you up in Christmas lights first. <laughs> okay, ready? Okay. Hold it. Okay. Hold it. Okay, okay, now you just spin around in circles. Okay. <laughs> yes, Holly. Holly, it's a great game. Okay, freeze. All right, now I'm going to save you from the Christmas light. Okay. Okay, ready? Yeah. Actually, this looks a little complicated. Uh, bye! Yeah. Chrissy! <sighs> we all need a savior, and it's not Chrissy Christmas. All right, so we are in a brand new month, which means a brand new verse, and this one is found in, I think, one of your favorite books of the Bible. It's true, it's found in Micah. So what we're gonna do for this week is I'm gonna teach you some motions, Pastor Danielle, because I know that you've been looking for someone who can help you with these things. It's true. And I'm your lady. Yes! So this is how it goes. It goes, but as for me, but as for me, I watch, I watch, and hope, and hope for the Lord, for the Lord. I wait, I wait for God, for God, my savior, my savior, my God, my God, will hear me, will hear me. Micah 7, 7. Micah 7, 7. <gasps> good job, let's do it together. Okay. Just so the kids at home know, you know, and that's a good idea, because it's a little long. It is a little long. Okay, all right, one, two, three. But as for me, I watch in hope, for the Lord, I wait for God, my Savior. My God will hear me. Micah 7-7. Seven, seven. Yes. Woo, that was good. Good job. I got it. Thank you. You too. Hey friends, it's officially Christmas time and I'm so excited. There's so many awesome things about Christmas like ugly Christmas sweater parties. Oh my goodness. I have like a kajillion of them. Do you have any at home? Whoa, there are so many, they keep flying in. Ooh, this one's really cool. So I love Christmas sweaters and Christmas trees. Have you guys decorated your tree yet? You should have. If not, do it tonight. It's so much fun. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. So fun. All right, and the most important reason we celebrate Christmas, Jesus! Woohoo! Jesus gets to be born. Um, I think we celebrate it on the 25th. So we have a little bit of time. But our series is called Wait For It. So before we get to all the fun Christmas things, let's take a look at Mark chapter 1, verses 1 through 8. And we learn about a guy um, that tells us all about Jesus preparing the way for him. So let's start with God's people, the Israelites. They were together and they went through some tough times together. You know what they needed? They needed a hero, someone to save them from all the hard times that they were experiencing. So God said, okay, I'm gonna send you a savior. All you gotta do is wait. 
So they waited. And they waited some more. And then they waited some more. And it was frustrating. You ever been frustrated when you're waiting? I don't want to wait anymore. They were waiting for their savior. And then a man named John was born. John the Baptist. Now he was called the Baptist because he baptized people in water. And something you need to know about John is he lived in the wilderness. <laughs> so what do you think he looked like? Do you think he looked a little wild? A little um, hairy and crazy a little bit. But what he was doing is he was preparing the way for the Savior. That's Jesus. He didn't know that back then. And Jesus was actually his cousin. Isn't that really cool? So John the Baptist, his message was, guys, the Savior is about to come. It's not me, or it's not me. But we have to do something. We have to repent. We have to ask for forgiveness and say sorry. God, I'm so sorry for the things that I've done wrong to hurt you, to hurt your people. Would you forgive me? And you know what, friends? That prepares our hearts for Christmas and for Jesus, who, are, who is our Savior. Because guess what? Everyone needs a Savior. So our big idea today is, is everyone needs a Savior. Now, have you ever been swimming and maybe had a, you're struggling and you needed a lifesaver? Now, for those of you who can swim well, you don't need one of these. Now, me, can you keep a secret? I don't swim very well. And Pastor Farrell, over 20 years ago, almost drowned me. That's true, kids. Parents, you're watching this, ask him the story, it's true. But fortunately for me, I knew before I jumped into the pool that the water was only five feet deep. Now, he tricked me because it was ice cold water and we were at Myrtle Beach in January. And so as soon as I hit the water, I came up and I walked on water right out of the pool and he and the other pastors were just dying laughing. Now, if it had been deeper water, they would have had to throw one of these to me because I cannot swim. Even though it was ice cold water, I would have had a really hard time walking on the water if it had been like much deeper. But the reality is in our life is we all need a savior, not just when it comes to water, but in our lives because we do something we're not supposed to do and that's called sin. And Jesus came to be our savior. So Grace Kids, we learned today that everyone needs a savior. Let's pray. Jesus, we thank you that 2,000 years ago, you came into this world to be our savior. We thank for the Lord that throughout this month as we celebrate you, that Lord, you did something that we couldn't do and that was provided the rescue plan for our salvation. We pray this in your name, 